Hi, I'm Mike Ram with Show Your Professional, and welcome to Light Snacks. Today, we're going to be discussing PWM and how to get the best PWM setting for your camera. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, right now we've got a lot of roll and hiss coming out of this fixture. Um, it's a pretty easy thing to fix, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the fixture and take a look on how to do that. Basically, PWM adjusts the actual frequency of the pulse width modulation of the LED to help you get the best setting for your camera. Since all camera settings are different, it's impossible to say which setting will work best for you. Your best option is just to roll through on the different settings and then watch on your camera or QC monitor. And when the rolling stops, you're in good shape. So let's go ahead and dive into the actual fixture and take a look at how to change those settings. To get to your LED frequencies, you're gonna hit menu, down, 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 down. LED frequency. All Chevet fixtures do say LED frequency for the setting. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna see a selection. Um, different fixtures do have different settings as far as the Hertz goes. We get to this number by making sure we have numbers that are divisible by 50 and 60. Uh, just so you are aware, the lower the setting, the lower the Hertz, the better the dimming, um, better the low end dimming. Um, so for this particular camera, we know that if we go down one to 1200 Hertz, uh, we're gonna be good to go. So we'll go ahead and set it there. We hope you've picked up a couple of cool tips and tricks on how to best use PWM settings to get the most out of your fixtures when they're on camera. Until next time, I'm Mike Graham and thanks for watching.